Marauder. <laughs> you stupid bastard. This just in, 75% of Milk Crate Marauder's listeners are not subscribed. Uh-huh. Subscribe to the channel, you funky bastards. How about smashing that subscribe button? Before I crack you a good one... Cocksucker! Milk Crate Marauder. Uh, aren't you going to miss that? <laughs> hey, uh, I, I do want to mention something about Howard TV. Um, there's something that's coming up on there, and it, it actually involves Benji. Benji, uh, I saw a clip of you. Yesterday, Benji went by the set of 30 Rock. They were filming outdoors, and they had one of those setups with trailers, and one of the trailers said... <laughs> one of the trailers said... W w what's the comedian's name? I'm drawing a blank. Tracy, Tracy Morgan. One of the one of, one of the trailers for Tracy Morgan. Benji sees this uh -oh. and immediately uh -huh. runs up and starts banging on the door, telling uh, all the people on the set that he is in Tracy's life right. and that he needs to see Tracy. <laughs> and they're like, and they throw him out, and then he just goes over to the craft services table and begins eating bagels and stuff. Uh huh. And they're like, whoa, 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 who are you? And you can't be eating that stuff. He goes, No, I'm in Tracy's life. And <laughs> then a bunch of big black guys surround him. I don't know where they came from. Are they Tracy's personal guys? Uh, I'm not sure if they're in his life, but they were something to do with 30 Rock. Yeah, so it's a continuing I'm in Tracy's life. Right. Thing. Unfortunately, he never gets to see Tracy, but it hardly matters. I, I wonder if it gets back to Tracy. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to think so. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So. Uh, don't you think that's kind of dangerous? Yeah, oh, I think uh. it's real dangerous. Because I had a guy, remember that guy who used to say he was related to me? Right. And he used to burst through the door. Yeah, I remember that guy. <laughs> that was frightening. Yeah. And, you know, maybe Tracy will recognize Benji. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was maybe nuts. Maybe not. It's nutty tape, I'll tell you. Here's a clip from it. Howard TV says they can play it, Fred. I don't know what that entails. No, there you go. There's, there's the trailer. That's the trailer. Tracy nice show. Benji! <laughs> it's right out on the street. Crazy! Crazy, come on, I'm in your life still! Let's go, get off the goddamn stands! Where's Tracy? Let's go! I'm, not tra I'm in his life! Yeah, great. I'm in his life! Ask Tracy Morgan, I'm still in his life! Uh oh. See, <laughs> this is where it gets crazy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to play the whole thing. All right, guys, thank you. Oh, my God. Yeah. See, I, I don't think that uh, that's a good thing to do. No, I don't either. I, I'm, I'm I mean, it. for Benji's safety. Right, I agree. What Benji, do you get nervous doing that kind of stuff? Well, uh, Lisa was G was with us, so. Oh, so she protects you. Yeah. All right. Oh, you have Lisa G with you. She's a newswoman. Oh, you? that'll... Well, right. maybe he thinks because they see a camera crew. Yeah. No, it wasn't a camera crew. It was, no. It wasn't it was a phone crew. Uh, Chris had a phone... It was a phone crew. Yeah, a he, Chris, phone? He was just walking down the street. He didn't know he was going to go do that. They just took a phone and Because I was like, what is Benji doing with a camera crew with him? Uh, it's a pretty good camera, though, that phone. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, it's... You know, I, a lot of guys in the office have it. The uh, Android X, I think it is. Is it's, it? I think that's what it is. Is the Android X a... Like a BlackBerry thing? It's yes. a smartphone. Jason no. is uh, one of the guys that has it and has been telling me a lot about it's it, so I don't know too much about it. It's Verizon's answer to the iPhone. And so the camera seems to be almost broadcast quality. It looked like he had a camera with him. Yeah. And the microphone was pretty I mean, Benji's very loud, but uh, yeah, the microphone's pretty good. I, I think the camera's great, although some of the TV guys, when they were watching this morning... Like Scott said, what was that shot on? Like he noticed it was different than. Well, yeah, yeah. It's a well, cell phone. I mean, I should hope that Scott would notice. Yeah. Well, he's the one. Good, of, one. good of Scott to notice that <laughs> the quality isn't the same as our cameras here in the studio. So. But anyway. still pretty good. Yeah. So the, you'll see. That's just another one of those bonus things on Howard TV. Oh, 
your desk. Uh-huh. I'm retarded, you jerk. <laughs> you stupid bastard. Uh, Tracy's out there. I was going to talk about Rod Stewart on Dancing with the Stars. I, I did not see that. He's no. into singing those like Tony Bennett type songs. You know, Fly yeah, Me to classic. the Moon. Classic. Fly Me to the Moon. I was like, wow, what happened to him? He was cool. And... Why do I, I don't understand why you do it? You have money. You don't have to. I don't know. Make a living. <laughs> and maybe he digs that shit. I guess. Tracy Morgan is out promoting his new HBO comedy stand-up special, Tracy Morgan Black and Blue, this Saturday night at ten on HBO. He's here. There's He's happening. Man. My man. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey, Tracy, you like that song by uh, Kanye West? Let's hear it for the assholes. Let's hear it for the douchebags. You know that song? Oh, man, you know. You don't dig that? I would think that's a song you would have loved. You're not into that? Not really. Wow. Not really. You don't like Kanye? Not really. Not a rap guy? I'm into, no, I'm into, I'm on a whole nother level now. Just going too crazy with it now, man. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, we're giving honor to douchebags, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're making it cool to be an asshole. <laughs> you, 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 I was, stop doing that to me, you man. You disagree with the message. You disagree with the I message. Love the music is cool. It is cool. It's dark. It's funky. Right. All right. But I'm up on, on a upbeat, you know. Get down. Boogie, oogie, oogie. Oh, you're into that? Yeah. I'm in, I, you know, I'm up to, you know, feel good music. Who's the greatest right. female singer of all time? Is it Whitney Houston or Gladys Knight? Gladys is uh, that Gladys is on a whole nother level, man. Gladys Bibi Winans is, was in. I think Aretha Franklin is the queen of soul. Is Aretha Franklin better than Gladys Knight. B.B. Winan says no, that Gladys Knight is the greatest female singer ever. She could be. She, she could? could be. She could be. Gladys. But then you got, you know, Aretha is like Aretha. Dude. I saw Aretha over the summer. Come on, she sang at Martin Luther King's burial, man. But is she technically a better singer? I don't know. Aretha, when she get into her thing, she get into a thing. Gladys ain't never really... Gladys is down with the pips and everything. Gladys is up there. But Aretha, that's Aretha. When you were on Saturday Night Live, what was the best musical act, you, in other words, in your opinion, that blew you the way? Like, Who were you oh, happy man. to see? Yeah, when you were working on Saturday Night Live, you had to meet one of these bands. I love to see... Uh, Oh. Uh, Lily Kravitz was hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to understand. I was there seven years. I got to see these bands rehearse. That's right. what I'm talking about. Concert. What was the I best? Seen Puffy do Godzilla. He did it with David Page. Okay. That was hot. Jimmy Page. Jimmy Go ahead. Page, right. Sorry. Jimmy Page. Right. And I seen Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz. Those were the two. I, for me. Yeah, they did it for me. You're Lenny, shocking me. Lenny rocked it. Lenny rocked it, and he's from Brooklyn. He's from Pulaski, yeah. Did you ever hang with Lenny Kravitz? Yeah, at the after party, man. See, that's why he's your man. Yeah, you but... You guys must have gotten tons of pussy that night. Yeah, we chill it. There's, uh, Lenny, Lenny gets pussy yeah, on top of Yeah, he's a rock it. star. And he can't even stop... He can't even make music, he's he so He probably busy. don't even want no more pussy. He probably want love, man. He's probably sick of pussy. Yeah, he yeah he's looking for love. love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Love. You know, crazy, man. Tinder dick, you know? Yeah, like, oh, it'd be great when to... When you fall in love, boy, that's a female get you tender dick that's what they call it tender dick what do you mean like a female get your emotions in it What's once, a, once they get you to say i love you oh you got tender dick son can i ask you a serious question yeah. 
I watched you on Letterman the other night. Uh -huh. I love you when you're on there because I had to sit through three fucking segments of that Chilean miner. I was ready to hang myself. Yeah, he would have got it. Oh, that Chilean miner. If I was in that mine, Ooh. he would have got it. Yeah, but ah, don't I'm be wrong. He was the one play. screaming. He was the one screaming. Get him. Get him over. Ah, I agree. Who wants some fucker running around down there? And yeah, then? he better run. It's like, dude, we might die down here. You're going to waste your time running? Yeah, you, you know better what? run. I'm getting pregnant, and I'm old school. I don't be pulling out. Not only that. When I come in, I come in. I would have went three fingers past the knuckle. Weren't they? And by the way, when you're in a, stuck in a mine and you're running, don't you have to conserve your energy because you can only eat like one little they thing They were having like a teaspoon of tuna or something. Yeah. How do you run six <laughs> miles? They, they eat that every fucking day. <laughs> it's being <laughs> chilly. It's chilly. I don't know That's from it. food. That's it. That's good eating. Got no food there. They, right. live on, they live on fucking trash. A fucking compound. <laughs> when you go on Letterman, don't you think you should have been on first and then the Chilean miner? No. No? That dude is was stuck in a fucking hole for 70 days. I admire that he got through it and he ran the marathon and everything yeah, else. I was cool. You were cool with it? Yeah, I was but, cool. But didn't you think it was boring because he can't speak English and you got to listen through an interpreter? I didn't listen to the shit. I was, right. I was in my dressing room getting my head right. When you say getting your head right, I know what you're talking about. I've been on Letterman. Yeah. And I've been on these talk shows. You want to make it good. So you kind of sit there and you plan out where you're going to go with the thing, right? Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But not, that's not my process. My process, I got my crew with me. Right. So they're constantly feeding me shit to talk about. Right. You know, right. There's, there's constantly shit happening. So we keep our minds open all the way to the point where I'm sitting down on the couch. Right. Anything can happen from that point. Agreed. I understand that. I, I do that as well. I'll watch the TV show on the monitor. Yeah. While it's while they're taping. Yeah. And if I get inspired to do something, I throw everything else out and I go with that. Yeah. But, you know, I might have, if I were, you know, if I was on that particular show you were on, I I might have just been screaming bloody murder about that Chilean man. Nah, come on. I might have brought that? the interpreter out with me and nah, let him interpret man. what I was going to say. But uh, you, so, so what? I, well, I guess the question I have, I feel, uh, you know, I think you're a tremendous talent. And I feel Letterman uh, gives you attitude. He makes faces while you say certain things, kind of looking down on you a little. Am I correct in this? Do you think this? Yeah. That's me and his act. But, but are That's you okay. comfortable with that? Yeah, I'm cool with it. It's funny. People laugh. Dave started to do that with me, and I was never comfortable with it. And I called, and I said, look, I'll do your show. Yeah, but you're a Republican. You know? No, I'm not, man. <laughs> I'm not that going that way. I'm saying, don't. But I was kind of like, yeah. I was kinda, hey, Dave, I respect you. Respect me a little bit. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean two giants going at it. That shit is cool. Well, That's I didn't want Godzilla wanna... Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> That's Godzilla and King Kong going I, head off. I, I think Dave genuinely has affection for it. I don't think he'd have you on otherwise, but he has to act like he doesn't. No, I don't think Dave is like that towards me because when the camera's off, that's my dude, you know? Yeah. I lead him down that road. But why can't he why can't you be his dude on camera? On camera, it's my man, too. I don't, I don't think he's condescending to me. I think I'm playing it like that. You know, you can look at me one or two ways. I see how you see it. Yeah. Yeah, you're seeing it from, you know. Right. But you're comfortable with it. Yeah, I'm comfortable. All right, I didn't know. Cool. You Maybe I'm too sensitive. Me. You could look at you. are oh, way too. This is show business. Um, you, you're looking at it like, you know, I don't want to turn it into a reality TV show. Right. You could look at me either like a genius or idiot savant. I think you're you brilliant, it. and I, I. But I don't. I don't mind saying you're brilliant. Uh, I think he should say. Yeah, I'm not gonna get up there and be step and fetch it. And that, like, that's what I'm saying. No, I'm not. I felt like I was step and fetch it there. I'm like, no, uh, I make a comment about great. this. And the, no, I just had a Howard. general perception. We straightened it out. We talked it over man to man, and I respected Dave. He listened to me, and then he made his adjustment. Okay, so when I leave here today, yeah. I'm getting on a goddamn phone with David Letterman. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Put uh -huh. him in his place. Let him write. Put him in his place. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Listen, you got it going on. You got this comedy special. Some what respect is in order. What is the comedy special? What, what, what are we talking about now? This is a big deal for you, right? Uh, yeah, um, this is an HBO special. It's just me doing some stand-up. This is the one you taped when you were here. You That's said the at the Apollo. Yeah. HBO comedy special. In fact, when I was watching that Letterman interview, you were talking about the difference between playing to Apollo versus uh, Carnegie, Carnegie Hall. Hall. Yeah. It's a different kind of Two situation. Two different audiences, bro. Are they? Hell what, yeah. One's a white audience, one's a black audience. Nah, I just think one's a hip audience and one is not really. Who's the not hip? The whites? The nah, Carnegie not Hall. whites. Whitey. They don't have nothing to do with whites because I know some white people that straight up hip. You hip. <laughs> 
Well, you but what's we'll, happening? You listening to Kanye? I don't listen to that shit. I'm way more hip than but, you. Yeah, yeah, you're hip. You know, I'm not hip. I'm, yeah, I'm hip. I'm with it. So it has nothing to really do with black and white. It's about being hip. But up at the Apollo, it's, some people, it's, it's an all black audience. Yeah. And, and you point out that that that, that audience, they can be rough. They could take, uh, what do they have, a hook? And they come out and hook you off the yeah. stage? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Yes. Oh, fucking yeah. You don't bring it, son. Let me tell you something, man. That when is mean. When you're in front of a, a all-black audience, yeah. they, them tickets cost a lot of money. They sure do. You better bring it. Yeah. If you got money to go to Carnegie Hall... You got cash. So if the motherfucker's corny, you just sit there. But when you at the Apollo, if you don't bring it within the first 30 seconds, your ass getting a hook. What pressure that must be. You know, you're a guy who kids around. It ain't you, no pressure for me because I'm bringing it. Yeah, but you want to know something? Uh, and I'm connected, Howard. I make people laugh all day long. It, it sounds, though, like you almost prefer the white audience. It's less pressure because they'll put up with if you have a bad night. Not me. I prefer I prefer people that's coming to laugh. Mm -hmm. If you come to laugh, but if you come to analyze and all that shit, do what you gotta do. But I'm I'm shooting for the laugh. I'm shooting for the gut. Don't tell me you never bombed in your life. Yeah, you but, have. But that was before I was famous. I can't imagine. You ain't never gonna see it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't shit, imagine. Richard Pryor bombed, but you ain't never gonna see it. Right. And when I walk a room, believe me, that's gonna be some of the funniest shit you ever seen. If I go down in flames, I'm going down in flames. I got it. I'm talking mayday, 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 <laughs> mayday, 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 mayday. I got to tell you something, and maybe people will ridicule me for this. I think that is one of the bravest things a man can do in life get up on a stage and go in front of an audience and just with a microphone talk to that audience and keep them engaged for what an hour would you say sometimes two sometimes two hours it's got to be mind-blowing. You know, the jester was the king, was the most noble person in the king's court. The jester. Well, yeah, and the jester used, noble, to, used to get man. his head chopped off if he wasn't, wasn't funny. funny. That's right. Thank God we don't live in those medieval times. <laughs> yeah, it can I be don't bad. have to face that shit. How do you win an audience over in the first 30 seconds? I mean, the, the you say what's up. All you got to do is identify and relate and then put your, your humor on top of that shit. Humor is like the extra cheese. Right. That's like the pepperoni. What do you mean, relate? So if you go out in front of a black audience, you got to do a whole or different not thing. Not just black. I'm talking about... No, I'm fuck. talking about the Apollo. It's a different vibe, right? What up? I'd say some shit that happened, man. Some shit that just happened. Like when I, when I did the Apollo, when I did my special. Right. My first joke when I came out, man. I, I got black love that day. I went up to the the hood. And the fat girl worked behind the counter at Burger King, gave me two extra apple pies. <laughs> to that me, that's love. You know, and I told them what happened, and they fell out, and that broke the ice. It was like the weight of a polar bear. You, walk, you walked out, and you told them simply that the girl showed you black love by giving you two apple pies. Two extra apple pies, and she supersized my fries for no apparent reason. Oh, wow. That's black love. That's love. <laughs> fuck, a walk, fuck a star to walk a Hollywood. Right. That is love. When you get love. Love or you get credit at the deli in your neighborhood, you in. You, you know, man. you're right in a way. I went to uh, an Italian restaurant yesterday with my daughter. We're sitting and having dinner, and she got up and go to the bathroom. I go to pay the bill, and the guy goes, Howard, I don't want to. I don't want your money. You. Ain't no good here. I said, guys, that's ridiculous. I don't want you doing that. I know you work hard. You know, it's a small little you know place. It's like more, mostly like a takeout place. I said, you guys work hard. He said, no, your money's no good here. And I thought, wow, you know, that's that, love, man. That was really nice. It's love. It you was home. certainly a very sweet gesture. Yeah, you home. What's wrong? You you can't, you don't know how to accept that, Howie? It's you hard. dysfunctional or it, something? It's hard to accept it. No. Embrace that, man. You got to give and receive love unconditionally. Look at you so together. And yet, I hear you broke up with another girl. Who? I heard you're not with your girlfriend. I hear, you? Yeah. Who told you this? I heard it. You know I'm right. Who told you that? Glad it's you not. Know. Heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> That's right. Oh, shit. is out there on AP Everybody now. knows, man. Everybody knows. Sure. What happened, bro? We just, we just, uh. You grew up party. We're weren't there to get we're out friends. of that long. We're friends. We're friends. She, she was a piece of ass. All right, we're friends, yo. She's cool. How know? long are you with her? Four years. Four years out the window. Boom. <laughs> Kick her out the door. Boom. Yeah. Out. And out. it was so much love. All no, that we're love. Friends. We're friends. We're she friends. Two apple pies. Yeah, she's cool. She's cool people, man. What went wrong? Be honest. It's all about being happy, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>
You're he not going to be honest. Be honest. What happened? <laughs> it was about being happy. I mean, you she know. gave you the ultimatum. She said, listen. Marry me or. Right. Uh-oh. She threw it down. <laughs> I, I know exactly what will happen. Hey, I'm a killer. I'm a lady killer, man. You know me, man. I've been breaking Were you cheating? since I was eight. Were you cheating? No, no, no. Oh, I come never, on. I would, I would never cheat on T. That's my girl. She's still my, she's still my people. Yeah, but what happened? Um, Did she give you the pressure? I tell you, no. I tell you what happened. I just think that it was a lot for her. What? You know, you're dealing with Tracy Morgan, man. It's a lot. The spotlight is not for everybody, you know? Was it a gradual? Media, you know, the media there, you know, people sitting at home writing mean things about her and uh, that they never met her, you know? And I just think she needed a break, you know? Uh. Wait a second. You're being cryptic. You're in love with this girl. You were living with her, right? Yeah. Okay. She was there with the fish tank, the whole thing. Yeah. Right. The big fish tank? She's there, the big fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the apartment. Everything's cool. You got your divorce, the whole thing. You're yeah. free and clear. Four years together. What is this, a gradual thing? Or all of a sudden she comes in and says, look, you got to marry me. Where are we going? I'm not putting anybody. I mean, what, what is this all leading to? <laughs> I mean, really, what? <laughs> Tell me what happened, really. What always happens, Howie? What? You got tired of fucking her? No, 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 no. I never get tired of... No, no, no. Is she great in bed? Who, my girl? Yeah. Nah, I ain't gonna... What's her name? Tanisha. Tanisha? Yeah. That is an African name. Yeah. I love that. She's beautiful, man. She's a good person, man. How's she wear her hair? Natural or braids? Natural. Natural? Yeah. Her shit is hot, man. She together. She, None of she, that Jerry Curl she's bullshit. She's still around right? me? She's still around me, man. She's still, she's still with me. She's still with me. That's still my baby, man. She got a nice body. Yeah, she's good. Big titties. Oh, oh come on, goodness. man. Come on, man. You're a freak. What? You're a weedy, diddy, big ball freak. Come Howard. on, man. Howard is a freak. You got a picture of her? Come on. Got a picture in her panties? He's you got, looking at her. Come on, I ain't man. got no picture of her. Come on. You got a picture of her? Of who? <laughs> Tanisha. Let me you see. Got a hey, Gary, give me a picture of Tanisha Don't real quick. You got quick. a picture of her? Let me take a look. Let me see what you're passing on. Where, 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 where? I gotta see this. Wait, well, he'll find one. He'll get it on the internet. Yo, Howard, she was bad. If you say she was bad, she bad. Yeah. Yeah. So what? Because you, you said she was bad. Last time I was here, you was like, "Yo, she was bad." So what? So tell me the truth. What? What's the problem? She's good in bed. She's a great woman. You can take her around. You're not embarrassed by her. No. Um. This is what happened. Really? Let me tell you what happened. Like I said, you know. When you fuck with Tracy Morgan, there's a lot of rumors out there, man. That's right. A lot of rumors. Like what? Just rumors. What, that you're fucking around? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that, she I got, got pissed. Yeah. She heard that you were with other women. Yeah, yeah. And you came home, baby. I love you. You're yeah, the only one for me. That happening. You know what I'm saying? When I'm on the that road. That happening. That happening. And then when the trusty ain't there, you know, you got to take a break. And so guess, she accused you and you got insulted and blew up because you said, listen. I'm telling you I'm not with other women and you're not believing me. Yeah. Either you believe me or you don't. Yeah. So she said, let me think. I wouldn't believe you. Nah. Not <laughs> I'm with, with your track, with your track <laughs> record, man. Look, I'm, I'm with her. You're a black man, man. I tried. Even if you didn't, you probably did. <laughs> you're a black man. You're proud. you got money in your pocket. You're on a hit television show. you got the your own HBO special. The temptation is out there. These broads all want it. Oh, my God. Yo, Howard, man. You should see how they come at me. You <laughs> pussy falling out of my pockets. Oh, That's oh, right. You can't even day. avoid yo, it. Yo, this one last night, I went to dinner, and, yo, this one girl told me my jaw is hurting from sucking my man dick like crazy. <laughs> oh, there she is. Let me see. Oh, hey, yeah. Her. Is that her? Let me see. Is that her? Where? Right there. Let Take a look. <laughs> Do you know your own girlfriend? Oh, yeah, it's her. What, what's the? <laughs> that's not her. That's not her. Oh no, who's that? Who is this? That's not Tanisha. Oh god. No wonder she broke up with you. <laughs> Tracy. Go find Tanisha. Tracy. Again. I don't know. What? And Benji, go find her. Oh, is that her? Oh, whoa. Yeah, that's her. Let that's gotta it. be her. Oh, Look at the monitor. Man. Look at the monitor. Look at the monitor over there. Yeah, that's her, right? Where? Look at oh, that. Oh god. Help me. He doesn't recognize this one either. Let me see. You recognize that one? <laughs> Is that your girlfriend? The one you're hugging? That's Tanisha. Oh, oh thank God. goodness we found Are you her. out of your fucking mind Let's breaking up with that? Look at, she's got D cups. She's, what does she weigh? Would she, she's got a perfect fucking body. That's just the kind of sister I like. That's TT. 
That's the, that's what I'm talking about. Yo, we we we, we cool. Is she a model? She could be, right? What does she do? She just chill. What are you fucking crazy? You lost your mind. She loved me too, man. Oh my god. She loved the shit out of me, man. I put my tongue so far up her ass, she wouldn't even know it yeah, hit her. Yeah. It would come out never mind. It would come out where, Rob? <laughs> Go ahead and say it. Where would it come out? I, said, I, used, to I, suck her, I used to suck her butthole to her, her forehead cave in. Why would you That's pass what on happened that? To her. What's up, Ben? Hey, man. What's hey. up, baby? He's Did in you your see life. that picture? Talk to me. Oh, there's Benji. He's in your life. He's in yeah. your life. You know what? It's lost steam. I tried it. Again. You tried it again. Uh, we're, we're, now we're both like, yeah, yeah. I'm still in your life. And he's like, yeah, you're in my life. What? He's still with me. Who's still with you? Me and Tanisha's still together. So then what are you doing? I don't understand. I'm just chilling. You can't stay faithful to her. That's the no, problem. I stay you want new pussy. Her. No, I stay faithful to her. I, that, that her right that, there in the dress? Yeah. That, oh, yeah. It's T.Y. You see? You don't need to see it. You've seen enough. Let me I, see. Let me look. Let me see this. Why can't you ever tell if, if it's her? I got old eyes. You better have your eyes checked. Is, <laughs> that, I'm, a is vain, that her? I'm a vain actor. I don't wear glasses. Is that her? That's Tanisha. <laughs> Tanisha pregnant right now. That's my baby. She don't have my baby. Really? She's pregnant? She's going to have my daughter. What? You knocked her up and you broke up with her? No, nah, I ain't break up with her. Yeah, I told you, me and T together. I don't know where you get that rumor from, man. I told oh. you all these fucking rumors. So then what was this whole thing about you cheating? I'm not cheating. Oh, you're not? No. Does she think you're cheating? No. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I don't know about. what's going on. You got to ask her. I'm going to bring her on a fucking show. Yeah, bring her in here. I'm going to bring her Is on a show. Is she pregnant with your baby? She Another gonna... fucking kid? How many kids want, will this yo, make? Dude, I want babies. What man. are you doing to your look life? Look at her, Howard. An... Howard, look at her. I got three sons. <laughs> look at her. I got to lock that down. I got that locked. <laughs> well, once you have a baby, you're locked. I got that locked. I don't give a fuck. How many months is she? Pregnant. Four. Four. And yeah. then you're starting all over again with another kid. This is my baby. Yo, listen, my youngest son is 19. Oh. He's 19. Your youngest is 19. <laughs> wow. <coughs> Easy does it. You can see you're stressed need, out. I need to have, I, I miss the sound of little pity pat toe feet <laughs> running around. What are you my daughter, doing? My daughter going to be big. Yo, how is she going to give me an Amazon? My daughter going to probably be like 18 pounds, 42 ounces. You, what are you, you know, talking you, about? Uh, you're complicating your life every minute. You, what, you, you can't that? be fine with just her and the two of you. What is with the baby? Nah, I need a bond. I want to, I want to. Was it an accident? I want a bond. No, it was planned. You said I, I'm going to give you a baby. I want a fucking bond, man. And I'm mad. I mean, my daughter's not going to be born out of wedlock. You're getting married. You're going to get married. Yeah, I'm going to lock that down, man. All right. Goddamn my right show. I'm She's locking that down. I'm a decent hot. man. I'm a good man, man. Are you having a big wedding or are you going to do the quiet no, thing? No, I just mean I'm going to do the quiet thing. She's super Invite hot. Invite some friends. And, it, it, and she looks like very, very sophisticated. Yeah, she is. What very is she, smart. What very she, smart. What does she do for... Oh, look at she that gotta, picture of her. Now, yeah. that's fucking hot. Yeah. Is that her? Yeah. Oh, no wonder you're locking that that's down. That's T-Wop. You got to lock that down. Mm. Got to lock that down, Hal. Is she up for a party? No, she ain't party. Come on, no. man. That's my wife, man. Yeah, but does she party? No. None of that. She want to do a little coke? No, no, come what? on, never, none of that, man. Nothing. That's a, that's a, Sit that, around that's some... a fucking college graduate right Where'd there. Where'd she man. go to school? She went to school of fucking, uh... You don't even know. No. <laughs> you don't even know where your wife went to school. Uh, do you south. know her last name? <laughs> Somewhere down south. Well, I know she got, you don't know, wait a second, you've been with her four years and you don't know what college she graduated. I forgot, oh, oh, old miss or some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, is it all just about her being hot or are you going to get to learn no, and know man, her? I've been, I've been sleeping next to my baby for four years, man, come on. But man. they don't talk. <laughs> yeah, don't you talk. think? There's a connection there, Rob. No, you know but wait a second, but wait a second. There's a connection there with daddy, you know, she rubbed my back every Tracy. night telling me he's going to be all right. She's probably told you 50 times where she graduated college and you're not even retaining that information yeah i forgot it's not, not no a, you're not paying attention to her pay for this shit this could, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I put her through college man. this could this could end up i horribly. got the teeth fixed and everything did man. you did you get her teeth fixed yeah and did you uh send her to college really i did all of that man. you paid for the college i told you i locked it down man how old is she 26. Oh, that's nice. Right there, prime mm. prime mm. in her prime <laughs> did she baby did she um does she have a lot of ex-boyfriends? No. Famous dudes? No. Does she ever with Eddie Murphy or something? No, no, no. no, no. She looked like Eddie's ex-wife, right? Yeah. How'd she you up get... there with Nicole. Yeah. Yeah, she up yeah. there with Nicole. You're like doing the whole Eddie Nicole. Murphy thing. You're going to move to Jersey, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. 
You're going to move to Bubble Hill? Englewood. <laughs> Englewood. Look at you. I'm chilling, man. I got the whole package, Howard. You can't be mad at me, man. I bet your ex-wife I got... don't. I bet your ex-wife hates her. No, that's my baby. No, but I bet my she hates My ex-wife, Polly, I don't know. You know the females go crazy over Has she me. met her? <laughs> nah, they ain't bumped heads yet. Really? Yeah. The girls go crazy over Trey Bag. Does your, does your ex-wife know that she's pregnant? No. Nah. Uh-oh. Oh, Uh-oh. Oh, she's going to find out she today. Now, yeah, she's going to find out today. <laughs> you, just, you, you haven't told anyone that no, you knocked this one out. I just told you. Look at you. I just told you. I'm not scared. I just told you. I'm living my life, man. Your sons must love her. Yeah. 19-year-old son hanging around with her? Yeah. Jesus Christ. He's probably beating off to her, right? Maybe. Probably smelling the panties, going yeah. to the hamper. Why not? Oh, my goodness. Did you ever going say for the part, going yeah. for the doom streaks and the panties and did you, all that. Did you just ever say, shit, man, what's that like? How, what's it like hitting that? No, nah, he ain't talking to his father about that, nah. man. Nah. You don't talk like that? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Yeah. I you understand. got teenagers, all you got, y'all. Yeah, right. They don't talk about that. That's stuff. my baby right there. I drop Ooh. crazy, Howard. You drop a big load on you her, right? See, you should, oh, man, you should see how it go down. Big, thick load. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. You're not taping anything, are you? You're not in there with the video camera. Oh, he doesn't waste time with that. <laughs> what? Well, I was so like hotcakes. You know me? Did you tell Yo, I got a lot of females out there that love me, man. I, I flip and flop them hoes like hat, flapjack. You know what I'm saying? Did, did, you, did you tell your sons yet that uh, your your new girlfriend here is a pregnant. They love it. They like it. Yeah, they want a sister. Nah, they don't want any sister. That's, that's one more sister. kid they got to split their inheritance with. They want a sister. Yeah, huh? I'm trying to build an empire with this girl, man. It's my queen. Oh, you're going you're gonna to give her everything. <laughs> she bad, right? You're going to sign a prenup? She bad, yeah, you know that. Oh, fuck yeah, you are. You know that. You, that queen you can turn into. You want to leave with the motherfucking hush puppies you came in here with. <laughs> you want to leave with the hush puppies. So did you tell her yet that you're going to marry her? Yeah, she know it, man. And did, did you say, listen, we're going to have to have a conversation about a prenuptial agreement? Yeah. You, you had that discussion. So when yeah. do you actually get that done? That's going to be a whole rigmarole. Yeah, they're gonna, but it's going to be simple. I don't, me and her don't get involved in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Her lawyer's going to go over it. My lawyer's going to go over it, and it's going to be done. That's it. Yeah, I don't. I'm 42. Yesterday, mm -hmm. I don't plan on fucking around. All right. I'm good. I'm taking it you easy. Got the, you got the clause in there? The what cheating clause? clause? I guess that's what it is. <laughs> but I'm not Tiger. I'm not no stupid motherfucker. Okay, you know okay. Yeah, but you even say all these girls, you could have so much pussy right now. They, You say they come on to you. Where do they meet you? I'm uh, pussy smushy. You know what I'm saying? I'm pussy smushy. You know what? He's You've over matured. You oh matured, my God. man. You grew up. About that shit, man. Pussy smushy. I don't care about that shit, man. Wow. I'm a player, man. I'm, Interesting. I'm, 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 a, I'm a big willy, man. I don't You're care about that man. shit. Yeah, all I don't right, care understand. about that All right, all right. Listen to this. Uh, Tracy Morgan. Uh, he's here for a reason. He wants you to see his stand-up special, Tracy Morgan, Black and Blue. Yo, Howard, did you see it yet? No, how would I see Nobody it? Nobody gave us a copy. Yo, yo, how would I see it? I'll tell you something, son. That shit's going to be nice. How long it's is it? Good, it's an hour. An it's hour. It's some good street shit, too, man. I love I do, street I do shit. I like 15 minutes on fucking Coke alone. I love that. When Chris Rock good does shit. his street shit, I do that's when he shit. is the strongest, right? Yeah. You man. like his stand-up? Yeah, I love Chris Rock, man. We miss you at the basketball games, man. I know. I'm going to start going again. Yeah, we miss you over there, man. I got you two know, cats we now. spiked the fuck out, you know what I'm saying? Triple referee, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we, we spiked out. We, how we, be, we be on the floor, man. You know what was weird? Celebrity road. Spike doesn't like me, but like, remember when we were at the game together? We were having a good time. You and I were sitting next to each other, but then you'd get up and like Spike would come over and you'd go, go over to Spike. I wasn't included in that. Yeah, you so. didn't get to that party. No, 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 no. no. Got beef. Those two guys left me out of that. <laughs> Y'all got beef? Come yeah. on. How we got beef with right. everybody, And then like Spike comes over and How? acts like I'm not sitting there. It was like really he's awkward. He's sitting on the radio, man. Does he yeah. not acknowledge you at all? He's got no. beef with everybody. He da he's got a beef with me. I got a beef with him, I guess. Because the last time I saw uh, him, he gave me the, eh. Yeah. yeah like, hi. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, he doesn't even give me first, the hi. Yeah. He won't give me the hi. <laughs> I think you get a hi because you're a sister. Well, I mean, we hadn't in a long time, yeah. but I like the like, ice is breaking or yeah. something. Me, he won't forgive. <laughs> me, he won't. so fucking pretty to me, Rob. Oh, why, thank you. Mm. God damn it. You, you got you y'all got that look. You and to me y'all got that look, that pure fucking look. Yeah. Janet got that look too. I Janet tried, Jackson? Yeah, she got yeah. a nice pure fucking look like y'all don't need no makeup or nothing, man. Aww. You look good with you crust in your eyes in the morning, <laughs> man. I tried to set her up yesterday on a oh, date. Oh please. She she didn't he didn't try to do anything. I'm scared. I tried to set her up with uh, you know uh, BB Winans? Yeah. I tried to set her up. She loved that dude, that's her genre.
Yeah, yeah. She loved that well, dude. I'm thought, this true fucking hood, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm a fucking gangster, you know? All that religious shit ain't gonna go down with you. Yeah, that's gonna work with her. I don't know all of that. That ain't, that, that, ain't, that ain't your thing. Who's the greatest musical artist of all time? Michael Jackson. Now, Jay-Z Prince says... Is up there. I like Mike, though. See, Jay-Z says in his new book that Thriller is the greatest album of all time. Right. Now, me, I can't relate to that. To me, it's like Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band or something like that, the Beatles. Right. Right. But he says Thriller's the best thing of all time. He says, but it was confusing to black people. He says, when Prince and Michael Jackson were doing their shit with all that Jerry Curl and all that f crap, it was very confusing to the black man because... But those guys are so talented, you could pass it off that it was freaky or something like that. Yeah, like a James Brown kind of thing. So, but then there was a point in music where, like, Apollonia and all these other guys come out with Jerry Curl and the, the hair. And he goes, it was very, very confusing. <laughs> That's why when hip-hop came along, you had guys who looked like black men who started doing... Weren't doing, doing all that stuff. talking yeah. about, you know hustling and doing their thing that's why everyone responded to it you know what i mean yeah because you can't relate to prince because prince because he didn't look like any fucking guy i know nobody no. walked down the street looking like prince no, yeah. you know what i'm saying you get laughed out of church with that red <laughs> michael jackson jacket and yeah, what is that look of prince you he's a straight guy laughed out of church with right. that shit. i mean prince was cutting the whole you get laughed out of church with right. that fucking thriller jacket on you know ah. what was the laugh your ass out of right. church everybody's man. like what is that that's so right. you know when hip-hop came through it was it was like yo Man, he looked like me. He from where I'm. He talking about. He talking this shit up. And he's singing about Adidas. That's what we can relate to. I mean, I'm sure there's not one point in your life where you tried to dress like Michael Jackson, right? I mean, you for Easter, <laughs> Halloween, I had the glitter socks and the fucking penny loafers and all that. But that was just one Easter, right? You know? in, in your real life, you can't be doing that. Yeah, niggas, motherfuckers chased me down the block one time. That was it. Uh, you learned your lesson. I started dressing like Melly Mel from right. the Furious Five. You know? That's it. You know, uh, I didn't realize this about you, but you got into stand-up comedy, but I guess it's because of your father, because you say when your father was in Vietnam, he was a stand-up comedian. He was a really? very funny man. He would entertain the troops. He was a very funny man. How old were you when your father was in Vietnam? I was like, I was born, man. I was born in 68. Yeah. So, so I was a kid. I was a baby. You, you were know? an infant. Yeah, but I remember when my father came home from that. You know what I'm saying? He was, was he all funny. fucked up? Nah, he wasn't. He was a musician. So that music kept him stable. That music, his music. But they say everyone but he comes was back. Fucked up, but he was, you know, heroin addict. Sure. And all that shit, you know. You think he picked up the heroin thing in no, Vietnam? Vietnam no fucking yeah. yeah. In Vietnam. 17 years old. Can you blame a man 17 I got years a old? I son that's 19 and I couldn't picture that. Can you, I could imagine that. Could you blame a 17 year old guy going over to Vietnam, shooting people, getting shot at? And, I could blame Nixon. Yeah, you sure he can. Did your father blame Fuck Nixon? Fuck my family up, man. Right. It fucked a lot, a lot of, of family. I said the best last night. Still reeling from that shit. I was talking about uh, you know Vietnam just last night with Beth, and I said, Jesus Christ, all the guys who died over there, and I, and I got the same conversation with my daughter. We were talking yeah. about it over dinner. Yeah. Look what's happening now, man. Yeah, the same thing is happening. That's right. Motherfuckers going over there fighting and not coming home. Did your father ever kill anybody? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure he did. I'm did quite, you ever ask him? I'm quite, nah, I never really talked to my pops about it. He was a helicopter gunner. So I'm quite sure he did what he had to do. You know but what yeah. I mean? Did you in war. A, you in war. Did he have any souvenirs like an ear necklace? No, nah, he wasn't on it like that. My father was a righteous dude, man. Uh, he, he was, was in righteous. a helicopter. Yeah, he wasn't he was down like, uh, around. When I came back from Vietnam, I had a... Uh, my father went, my father went AWOL twice. Really? And the first time my brother was conceived, and the second time I was conceived. And he, and he, my father showed me. He went AWOL and got some pussy. All right. And came home and made babies. And <laughs> one time, I remember I was in high school. That motherfucker, we had a family reunion in East New York, and he took me for a walk, just me and him. Right. And he took me to this fucking school underneath the bleachers and he said your ass was me right here wow on the what spot. an honor I wow had your, I had your brother there's Dolby a plaque style. there her ass was facing this way <laughs> he said to wait are you bullshitting me no it's your father my said it's I, my fucking I, I don't care if it's you but I'm asking you if it's true show me you you said to, your father said I fucked your mother me. doggy style. Showed me and right told my here. father was real. My father went into detail on it. Didn't that freak you out? <laughs> no. I was a kid, you know, I was way out about 17, but I was... He said, I fucked your mother doggy style. That's how he you said, I fucked her. He said, I had your mother right here. That's how you get a boy. I've yeah. always heard that. Doggy fuck, style? Doggy style, deepest penetration. <laughs> doggy because style. Because male sperm, the, one, the sperm that makes the males is weak, and in order for it to get into that egg, 
it's got to be doggy style, very hard, very deep. You know, I got a lot of sons out there then. Yeah. I, don't, I bust off. I'm old school. I don't be putting no rubbers on, man. Never. I never wear rubbers, man. I wear I wear, you ain't I wear willing to die for it, you really didn't want it. I wear a rubber all the time. If you ain't willing to die for it, you really didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know me, man. I'm going three fingers deep past the knuckle. You don't care. Nah. Never man, worried I'm about nothing. I'm a herpes, I'm a AIDS. I'm a team, man. Four years, man. I ain't sticking my dick in nothing else, man. Really? Look at that. Really, really dope. How man. about if she gets knocked up, she gains a few pounds after the uh, baby? I still fucking love her, man. Yeah? She can gain 300 pounds. I still love that ass, man. C-section scar, everything. Stretch marks, everything. Can other girls still blow you if you're married? Is that cheating? I'll stick my dick in somebody's mouth, yeah. <laughs> sure. I'll stick my dick down somebody's throat, yeah. I'll stick the big dick head down somebody's throat. No my deal. dick head is bulbous. My, shit is, my dick head is shaped like a Darth Vader helmet. When you were on Letterman, did you <laughs> get it? <laughs> your, your cock isn't very long. It's thick is what you're implying, right? You see, my wrist is thick, right? Right. <laughs> this is a thick yeah, you see, wrist. I got thin wrists. Yeah, I yeah. got a thick wrist. Yeah. So you have a big, thick cock. Yeah, and, big. My shit is nice. And you put it in their mouth, and the they get. Goes, <laughs> 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 That's what is good when you get that discharge on there. Are you really kidding me when you tell me there's that many women going after you right now? Or are you you being serious? Like, Out of broad, you have, you have constant temptation. I mean, listen, I do comedy. Where do they mostly contact you in the clubs, or when you're shooting Thirty Rock or something like that? When this? I'm all over, man. Yeah. Well, you know, there's, there's sightings. There's Tracy Morgan sightings. Do girls you know? ever come up and just say, "I want to fuck your brains out"? Yeah, they do. Yeah, I told you last night. That Chick was like my jaw hurt from sucking my man dick this morning. Were you being someone honest when you were saying that your girlfriend always thinks that you're cheating on her? Does she? I don't. I, I think that uh, because of my charm and because of my sense of humor, right. women and the and the power. You know, women the are power, attracted to power. power. So she gets the jealous. Fame, the money. That's a that's a bit much. But she is. I let her know. I let I, I let her know. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm right here. Mm -hmm. I'm right here. You sleep next to me. So, but wait a second. She does get jealous, right? That's true. She get, yeah, she She's get nervous. Jealous. She's do you, do you get She's jealous? Young. I'm looking at pictures of her. I can't imagine if she goes out with her girlfriends to a bar or something. I can't imagine some guys aren't hitting on her. Yeah, but my baby girl, like, I ain't worried about it. You, you don't. know, because if she cheated on me, she ain't my woman. Right. My woman wouldn't do no shit like that. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you ain't fooling me. You fooling yourself. Right. So you don't get jealous. No. At all. And yeah. I get jealous, you know what I'm saying? If I don't get jealous, if I ain't get jealous, man, come on, man. But, but you're away jealous. from home days at a time, true? I can see where a woman's mind starts to wander. You're in hotels, you're hanging out. I see you got a whole entourage. I can see where a woman would think, oh, those guys are out having a great night. They go, they have a couple yeah, of drinks. Yeah, but how many motherfuckers out there is better than her? Uh, not many. I look at a lot of females and be like, nah. Well, I'm proud of you. Work, you got man, your head you know screwed on yeah, straight. Yeah, you know that I'm 42, man. Yeah, it's enough already. I'm but chilling, you know. You're finally maturing. Oh, my well, God. Come on, bro. Oh, I'm not kind of, man. It's kind of freaky. <laughs> I, I, I'm chilling. You know, I, I'm surrender. Uh, Mark, I go surrender. ahead. You're on with uh, Tracy Morgan, the stand-up special. Tracy Morgan, Black and Blue, this Saturday night at 10 o'clock on HBO and don't miss Tracy at Caroline's on Broadway December 2nd through the 5th a rare opportunity for Yo, tickets how it I what? love talking to you, man. I love it, brother. You really, you really, you really, you really I love go talking there. to you. Yeah, I love it. I love to hear what you're up to. Uh, go ahead, Mark. Tracy, you're a fucking genius, and you know what? You and Howard are the dynamic fucking duo, my brother. You know it. Thank you. Listen, um, are you working on any new impressions or anything new? Well, uh, I know you got the new CD out, and I read. I mean, I haven't heard the HBO thing yet. You know what's weird when you're on when you're on Saturday Night Live. It almost forces you to work on impressions of people. and I don't really do like impressions. Yeah. That wasn't where the genius was for me. No. My shit was original characters. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, what was inside. I like to do shit that you ain't never seen before. What was your favorite character that you did on Saturday Night Live? Like, what were you most proud of? What was that one bit that sticks out? Woodrow. Are there, are there any family or anything you do good impressions of that, like, stick out? So it's a million people inside of me. It's a million people inside of me. You, you see all the shit I be doing. Where do you channel most of these people from your childhood? Like, uh, did you? Did, you the know? community. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people I see every day. You know, and um, it's a it's a, it's a creative thing. You know, I don't. I'm not want to take somebody or I'll do how it. I don't get that like that. Right. It's whatever happens that, that, I noticed that moment. A lot of people. The, the best impression I've heard of you is Jim Brewer. Yeah. Oh my God, when he does you, it's fantastic. 
Uh, let's go to Nick. Nick in Lake Tahoe. Go ahead. Hey, thanks, Howard. Hey, uh, Tracy, back in the day or yesterday, how many women have you been with at once and how many different women in the same day, brother? Well, uh, that's oh. a good question. Uh, that's a two-part question. When I was young, how many women? I, when I was young, before Tanisha, when I was young. Yeah, did you have an orgy? Yeah, I, I, I did that, all of that. Saturday Night Live orgy type stuff, too? Uh, SNL? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's Wild and Willie. How many women were in the in the orgy situation? Four. Four? Yeah. Nice. Was Lauren Michaels in on that, too? Nah, Lauren wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> you had four women all to yourself or were other yeah, dudes? In I room? had four women, you know, wow. four women, me and my man Gil, wow. me and my man Leroy that's out there. Yeah, I know it was Leroy. Rare. You know Elbow. Yeah, yeah, right. So you, but, but when you, you say there's four women, were you just alone in the bed or were the guys around too? It was me and four women. That's it? Me and four women. And did you bang each one of them? Yeah. Wow, you went down the row. Yeah. And are you crazed? That, were you coked up out of your brain? Nah, that? I was. I never did narcotics. No? It was straight dick. Right. And you just put it in. Yeah, straight dick through the rubber on straight dick. Wow. Dick them down. Wow. Talk, I fucking talk stud. Stud. Use fucking the rubber stud. for them. Yeah. For those girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I always yeah. use rubbers. Right. <laughs> well, make up your mind. <laughs> Five minutes ago, you never use the rubber. I always use rubbers. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Who the hell knows what you're talking about? I'm telling you, his no story kidding. changes by the minute. Really true. Four women yeah. at one time? Were they tens? Yeah. Were they that hot? They were bad. Where do you pick up four women? I mean, how do you meet just, them? You know, just knowing my girl, my little girl from back in the day, you know, my little really? fellies, yeah. And did you ever... Spanish, you know, Dominican, all of that. Did you ever... Were you ever such a player that you fuck a girl in the morning, then like later in the day, you'd meet up with another girl and fuck her? Yeah. You did? I'd do that. I, I was running... I had, I had girls. I had three, four girls I had to serve every day. Women man. were never a problem for you. Nah. Uh, mostly black women or uh, a couple of white women? Nah, I regulated every shade. I had white women, black women, Asians. Dominicans, all of that. Yeah, yeah, I fucked with some Chinese chicks. You could never marry a white woman, though. You Why? never could. You Why could. I? Because, man, it's... You would be like, all the other brothers are talking behind my back. I'm with a white woman. You would worry about that. You think? Yeah. What? You would worry about that, wouldn't you? If all the other, other brothers? Bro yeah. If the brothers you gotta understand when you dealing with Tracy Morgan, that's a whole other category. Right. Go ahead. You don't care what the brothers say. No, nah, that's a, that's a, another category. You know, in the community, they would be like, "Look at Tracy. He sold out." Nah. He's not that's with not how we get. That's not how we think, brother. No. I'm telling you from a black perspective. That's really? not how black motherfuckers think. They be like, "Wow." I'm that blacker than you are, and that's how I think. That motherfucker. <laughs> that motherfucker hit the lotto. <laughs> You oh know, yeah, we, yeah. We use white women like white women is like a trophy. Yes, but yeah. to marry the white woman, and you know, sisters go fucking berserk when they see you walking around with a white some woman. Some women, some sisters like that shit. They do. Yeah, I regulate every shade of that. I don't give a fuck. I do some gene checking. I check a motherfucker. I don't give a fuck about that. You know me. I'm a pimp, man. That's right. Imagine my blood, not me, Lay Sean. Imagine if you had white kids. That'd be something. They'd be beautiful. They look like Michael Jackson kids. <laughs> yeah. Did you watch that? Oh my that? God! I saw the Oprah show. Uh, you got you, you have to. That you have wild. to get a copy of the Oprah show. With, uh, I've seen it, man. Wasn't that something? <laughs> I like those Michael kids. <laughs> not really. Come on. You uh, see any Michael? Michael? Kids? I didn't see no Michael. You see how disappointed? I did not see Joe. Really? I didn't see nothing. Did you see how like disappointed Oprah was? I've when, seen Howard in the motherfucker. <laughs> did you see how disappointed Oprah looked when like Reeby's kids? were out there and Tito's kids and all that. She was like, I don't Who's know child are talk you? to those kids. Reeby, oh, forget oh, you. Reeby's kid, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Where is Prince Michael? Yeah, that's right. Let me talk <laughs> to those three white blanket. kids. Blanket, where's Blanket? Blanket. Blanket, get your ass in my mom, that bitch. Don't you think it's time to stop calling him Blanket? Yo, listen, that's why motherfuckers grow up and start gangbanging, man. Yeah. I wish my father would name me fucking Blanket. My name is Derek, motherfucker. You know what would have been the greatest bit? I would have been like this, man. You want to dangle motherfucker? I would have grew up. I would have dangled his ass. You a dangle motherfuckers look. You like that, Daddy? You know what would have like been that? great? I was half expecting, like, with all those kids walking in, with, you know, with Michael's kids, it would have been great, like, if you snuck in. Just, just walk in. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Oprah. Just sitting on, sitting on Kathy lap. Right. It just would have been good. <laughs> Let's go to King just of All. some random black dude sitting on Kathy lap. Uh, King of All Blacks. Hey, Trace, what's up, baby? What up, King? Yo, hey, hey, do your wife, do your wife go down on you? Do she suck your dick? 
Well, of course, right? This, this dude is disgusting. <laughs> He's right there. Hey, yo, do your wife go down on you? Did she suck your dick? Oh, my, yo, big mom was sucking my dick last night. I, what? I couldn't believe I was married. Like, you know, it seemed like she was like a... Like Son, a she was gagging. How she sound when she gagged? <laughs> it's enough of that. Well, listen, Tracy, it's all going well. Um... I have to tell you that uh, I am very, very happy about your comedy special. Thank you. I am really looking forward to it. Thank you. Uh, see Tracy's stand-up special, Tracy Morgan. And Howard, I just want to let you know, me and Tanisha, that's still my lady. Right. And we're still cool, and she's a wonderful woman, and she's really decent, and she's the best. And, and, and she's pregnant. And she's pregnant. Yeah. Right. And you're with her. Yes. Right. And she's the best thing that ever happened to me. Did you ever tell her that when you worked at Saturday Night Live, you jerked off in every bathroom? In Rockefeller Center? She knows all my disgusting you told, shit. You yeah. told her she knows, her. she knows who she's sleeping next to. And she's still able to love you, even though you're <laughs> She loved me. Right, yep. And you look at her, man, I'm ready to climb the fucking Empire State Building for her. And Have you ever met some planes and shit. <laughs> I'm ready to battle some fucking planes for my baby. It was beauty that killed the fucking beast, but nobody else better not know, call her a beast. Did you ever, did you ever, did you ever, uh. I'm beautiful like a motherfucker. <laughs> Absolutely. Nobody I else better not know. I'm not gonna call say anything. You are too funny. Did you ever meet her old boyfriends? Like, have you ever met her? I don't wanna meet the motherfucker. I bet you that she had some good looking dudes like football player types know. right i don't know i don't know oh, she got tracy truth. morgan man she got a fat funny dude right now did she ever live with a guy before you nah tell the truth no nah. sure she did i don't know what she what did you, before what you, you, you don't talk about the past I'm you don't even know where she went to college listen, i'm not opening that can of worms and i'm not letting you do the jedi mind trick on me <laughs> you try to do the jedi mind trick you know what i'm gonna these do these are not the droids you're looking for i'm gonna challenge you to something right i want you to come in here with your future wife and play the newlywed game with her. I'm going to ask you questions about her right in front of her. I'm going to see, see when she see if finds you out that you don't even say, know where she went to Tanisha, college. Tanisha, I want you. you Tanisha, have... I want you to come in here because we're going to find out if Tracy knows anything about you. I probably know more about you, Tracy. Tracy, I know more about her than you do. No, you don't. You don't even know about where she went to college. <laughs> You've got to pay attention to her. I know, I know, I know. I know. Uh, it's not good. All right. Right, Robin? That's true. Right. Uh, also, uh, in addition to the stand-up special, Black and Blue, this Saturday night at 10 o'clock on HBO with uh, Tracy Morgan, uh, do not miss Tracy Caroline's on Broadway, December 2nd through the 5th. He doesn't go up there and just do the same show. It's uh, He goes up and it comes right out Everything's from his Everything's new. That's no, right. Howard, when are you, are you come see me? I know. Man. This is ridiculous. I'm just looking at these dates thinking if uh, uh, maybe I'll be there. Would you? Uh, are you one of the greatest stand-up comedians ever? In your opinion, are you, do you rank up there with Richard Pryor, George Carlin, George Carlin, no. and Sam Kinison? No, you do not. No, not yet. Bill Cosby. Those guys had time. Those guys were masters. Did you ever talk to Bill Cosby? Has Bill Cosby talked to you? I have never talked to Bill Cosby. Oh, you haven't gotten a lecture yet. I just don't. I just don't think that I'm there yet because uh, those guys had time. Right. I'm still young at it and I'm still learning it, but I think it's for my generation. I'm a voice for a whole generation. Who's better, Eddie Murphy or Richard Pryor, in your opinion? Come on, Richard is the master. Richard is no. the king. I haven't believe it's Eddie Murphy. Well, Eddie he, Murphy, you're no, not listen, a comedian. I just, I just I think care. that comparison is unfair. <laughs> yeah. I just think it's unfair. Eddie Murphy was the Richard best. did it when he did it at his time. He was the best. Vietnam and things was moving I don't there, care. And then... Eddie is more of an entertainer. Eddie, That's like comparing Michael and, and Prince. I yeah. can compare them. Prince was way better than Michael Jackson. That's not true. That's way a, better. Prince is one of the opinion. greatest musicians ever lived. But Michael was an entertainer. He, no. was, he was more of an he entertainer. Was, he was Michael mediocre. was one of the greatest that ever lived. No. Never yeah, mediocre. Mediocre. I just Never. Think that is Prince was great. Everybody's still like playing who, Michael Jackson. Who, all right, so who are you going to compare me to? You. You're, on, you're in a category by yourself. Why are you saying that? To, well, uh, wait a minute. Let's put him on the spot. There's Chris Rock. Go ahead. There's Martin. Tracy Morgan. Chris Rock is the. Wait a second. Well, I, first of all, I haven't seen. In that category? I'm asking no. him. First of all, Chris I haven't is seen. Like, <laughs> Chris is like our generation's richest. <laughs> Listen to me. First of all, I haven't seen Tracy stand up yet, which I'm going to see on the special. On the special. So yeah. I can't put Tracy in a category until I see his stand up. There you go. He's a funny guy. He's funny on Saturday Night Live. He's funny as. He's, he's one right, of my best right, guests here. From Saturday Night Live. Uh, Chris Rock, Eddie Murphy, Tracy Morgan. Uh, stand up wise, no one can touch about this live. Oh, Saturday Eddie Night Murphy, Live. Eddie Murphy, Saturday Eddie Murphy on Saturday Night Live was 
a supernova. Am I correct or yes, not? Yes, yes. He, his characters, everything became... The James Brown did Gumby. J Gumby and James Brown. He, he came in here. Mr. And why, why do you only compare him black guys no, on we're Saturday just, Live? I'm just asking Tracy you. Tracy beat a these, lot of these uh, white dudes on Saturday Night Live. Oh, Live. please, that, that goes without saying. I yeah. just wanted to know of those guys. Very racist. Nope. All right, right, Tracy. all right, I'll throw Joe Piscopo in there. Uh, all right, <laughs> Joe Piscopo, but eat them all. all right, here's my question to you. Greatest stand-up of all time now. Now? Chris Rock. Um, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor of all time. Bill Cosby. And stand Sam Kinison. Stand-up? Yep. Yeah. Richard Pryor. Eddie Murphy, Chris Rock, then Richard Pryor. No. Uh, sure and I'll tell you what. Richard Pryor. I might even put Chris Rock on top. No. What do you think of that? No. Yep. Richard Chris Rock Pryor. Is laughs. Chris Rock is Every in that category. Eddie Murphy, Chris Rock Chris. is in that box. But Richard, Richard, I'm not willing to do the shit Richard did to be that funny. What did he do? Richard was fucking, Richard experienced all that life had to offer. That's what he did. He experienced all that life had to offer. He articulated all of that shit to us. He even made fun of himself with after he got burned. All right, here's a real tough question. What are the top ten songs on a jukebox? <laughs> all right, never mind. All right, that'll be for another Smokey Robinson is one Smokey Robinson. Okay, Cruising. all right. That's what I want to Cruising. Agreed. All right, listen, Tracy. <laughs> You've been Damn, working I hard. hate having to leave, man. I know Let's what you say. mean. I'm, I hate having to leave. Man. <laughs> Whose birthday is it today? I don't know, but it was your mine, girlfriend's. It was mine yesterday. Is it your girlfriend's birthday today? No. Oh, okay. It was All right, mine listen. yesterday. Oh, well, happy was birthday! It? Happy birthday! How Thank old you. are you? Forty-two. Forty-two. Yeah. You're a baby. I'm getting up there. Uh, see Tracy Morgan. And uh, how is uh, Alec Baldwin? Is he all right? AB is good. You hanging with him? Fey? I'm chilling. I don't hang out with him, but no. we work together every day. Tina Fey, okay? Just got the uh, Mark Twain Award. Were you there? Yeah. What All is right. the Mark Twain Award? I want it's that. It's one of a very prestigious comedy award. Why won't I receive that? I'm funny. I don't know. Exactly. You see, I think Tracy because, Morgan. You know, maybe you don't write anything down. Yet. No. Yeah. I, mm. I said four hours it. writing shit it. down <laughs> yesterday. You winged Reading that Jay-Z book and writing shit down. What are you talking about? See Tracy Morgan stand-up special, Tracy Morgan Black and Blue, this Saturday night, 10 o'clock on HBO. Big night for you. Yep. I am watching. Don't miss Tracy at Caroline's on Broadway December 2nd through the 5th. For tickets, go to carolines.com. When you go to Caroline's, you can't repeat the uh, comedy show from HBO. you got to come up with all new it. stuff. I you got it. you got it covered. Yeah. Look at you. Confident. Dude, I got 42 years of stuff. It's all a matter of remembering it. Right. All right. All right, you've said enough. You worked hard enough. <laughs> you answered phone calls. You did it all. I do. I, always, I don't ever let you down, Howard. You never. Come on, You're man. a great guest. I love it. I love it. I love when you're here. I love you. Thank you. I love you too, Hal. Huh? And uh, any girls who want to go to Caroline's and blow Tracy, oh, get on down there, get your tickets yes, now. Yes, yes, good, 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 good. After the show, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know who's a big ladies' man? Benji, believe it or oh, not. Man. Benji. You yeah. got the guy who's in your life. Yeah. Benji. Benji, yeah. Not Fred, Benji. You don't be, that get, one. You don't be getting scared of the ladies, man? No, he. I saw him go down on a girl using a cookie wrapper yeah. as a protector. Get out of here. That's right. You serious? We went down together. Yeah. You serious? Yeah, we went yeah I there. saw him do it. Yeah. Me and Benji went down on the sure. ship together. <laughs> All right, Robin, your boyfriend Tracy Morgan is leaving you. I know, once um, again. That's right. He man. always leaves me. That's right. We love seeing you here. <laughs> we'll be back right after these words. Milk, crate, marauder. I ain't no fucking pussy. Talking all that shit. Shay days about me. Oh, I got dirty pop. I got dirty popping on me. I got dirty pampers on me. I shit on myself. He told her every story. I had dirty pampers on me. Uh -huh. I'm club fucking footed, you ass wipe. Milk crate. There's a long leg Mac Daddy. Can I put my finger in your ass? Oh yeah, dropping loads. Oh my. But we should start off with our featured guest today, the man who's been on more than once, and always it's always crazy when Tracy Morgan drops by. I love him. He 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 is as entertaining in the green room as he is on the show. And during the breaks, he he every time he's been in, he takes a break and he stands up and he just starts riffing, and it's as funny as anything on the show. But I wrote down something that a conversation we had today in the green room because he's just so goddamn funny. I go in and I go, Tracy, how you doing? We hug each other. I said, just want to remind you, 
I'm going to give you a set of headphones when you go in. There's a little microphone on the side. Try not to touch the microphone. Your volume control is on the right. And he said, listen to me. Insight provides the proper guidance. And I said, huh? He goes, I have no idea what that means, but white people think it sounds smart. <laughs> that made me laugh my ass off. I mean, is he is he Tracy Jordan all the time? Is he Tracy Morgan? And I, I think he's he's smart enough to know what he's doing, and that's why I think with Letterman he doesn't really mind it right. because he knows he's sort of playing a part. Well, John and I were having this conversation before, and I think that he's way smarter than he acts. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's playing a character, and some people buy into the fact that he is that character, but I think he's very smart and very shrewd, but funny as all hell. Yeah, he, he's a riot. And, Benji, whenever he's in the studio, you don't know what he's he's going to say. And Yeah, you do. You know, some of it's going to – cellulite's going to come up. Um, you know, I come inside girls. I get them pregnant. That's the way I am. You know that's going to come up. But eventually, Tracy's going to say something that maybe he shouldn't have said. And today, I think it was all about his girlfriend and the fact that he revealed that she's pregnant, which may be news to people in his life. Other than Maybe the news to her. Who knows? <laughs> well, yeah, I think she's aware of it. But that's one of those moments where, you you know, where'd that come from? And But Tracy's just off the cuff. That's just the way he is. It's, make, it was, it's what makes him a good guest. I know. When, when we were talking during the break, you know, we're like, what's the story? He goes, you know. He goes, I'll get picked up off the waiver wire. Don't worry about me. <laughs> the what? The waiver wire. What's the waiver wire? That's like when you when in football, when you put a guy out of waivers, other teams can pick him up. The more attractive people get picked up quick. But what is that? What do you mean by that? By, by in other words, like if he's out there to be taken by other people, he'll get picked up by a good team quickly. Right. It, but if he's not attached to someone, oh, like a will, chick, right? Like, like, right. Other right. Chicks will, yeah. Okay. Now, were you surprised that he didn't love Kanye West like Howard did? Howard almost assumed that he'd be into Kanye West. <laughs> no, that was funny. That was funny. Absolutely. How could Tracy Morgan, Tracy? Yeah, Tracy Morgan. How can he not be into Kanye West? And he's not into Kanye West. Right. He made that very clear. He's like, the music is okay, but I'm not for making douchebags into heroes. And he got all over it, but then said Aretha was really uh, where, you, where you go when you want to hear the great music. And then he talked a little bit about going to the Apollo and saying how he always brings it. But I would imagine if you don't bring it at the Apollo, it could be an ugly time. I had a, a, a great experience in the 80s. Uh, I was friends with the publicist, and the NBC used to do Showtime at the Apollo. So she said, we got to go up there. you got to see them do the show. So we get a car. We go up to the Apollo. And it was like variety night, some singers, some comedians. So this comedian comes on, and he followed a singer who didn't do very well. So he gets up there. He tells his first joke, and there's like polite laughter. Tells his second joke, a little less polite laughter. Tells his third joke, nobody laughs. Fourth joke, now there's murmuring. <laughs> and I'm watching the guy, and he's starting to get like these weird ticks and everything. And I remember he was wearing a tie, and he was sweating. And he grabbed his tie, and he goes, please don't do this to me. And he went into his next joke, and it didn't. nobody cared. People started booing and throwing shit at him. And he took the microphone, and he goes, fuck this. And he threw the microphone on the ground and walked off. That was so cool to watch. <laughs> I've never been somewhere where someone had booed someone off the stage. Do they, they, no mercy. Do they have the giant hook there? Or they that? do. I've seen that. I actually met the guy that I went backstage and met the guy. I don't know his name, but he was the announcer at the Apollo forever. I saw him with his shirt off, which was really one of the grossest things I've ever Nothing worse than an 80-year-old guy. With sacky tits and no shirt on, but he—he—I've seen the hook, the giant hook. Wait, why was he like in his dress? He, room he was in the dressing room. Yeah, oh, we went okay. to see him. I mean, what an experience! But again, Tracy does always bring it. And he he brings it when he comes here. But I couldn't figure out with Tanisha. Well, one, he didn't. He, he wasn't sure if T was. You know, the different photos came in. Who she was? That was so weird. <laughs> I was like, I, 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 you know, because he wasn't kidding around. I gave him a photo. And Howard goes, is that her? And he looked at it, and he looked at it again. He looked at it some more, and he was like, I'm not sure. Well, well the first one he said was not her. It was looking now when you've seen the one that I don't think the first one was her. Oh, okay. But is he with her? Is he not with her? I understand she's carrying his baby, but I couldn't figure out if, if she's his girlfriend or, or not at this point. Well, he definitely sounds like he loves her. Um, and it, what I thought, are we taking into consideration the things that are off that didn't happen on the show also? Uh, I don't know. Tread lightly. I have no idea. <laughs> is she in his life like you're in his life, Benji? Uh, no, I think she's very much. I think he loves her. I, I think, think he, he loves wants her, her in his life. I don't know. I I think he <laughs> loves her. I think he intends to marry her, but I also think he wants to uh, still sleep with other women. Sounds think, like you. Uh, yeah. Because every girlfriend you've ever had, you want to be able to sleep with no, other women. Every girlfriend you've ever had, you've loved, except you want to sleep with other women. Yeah. 
I think every guy wants to do that, but it's it's the you know how much you're you going to make that a factor in your life or not. Did he talk to you at all since you've been a part of his life, whether he wants you to be or not today? Like off uh, the air? well, uh, when he when he first got here, we kind of both did a little point at each other, and I said, "I'm in your life." He goes, "You're in my life." Do you think he and, knew uh, who you were? Or do you think yeah, he just he said sa- that? I mean, he says that he says everyone's going up to him doing that now. Okay. Half the world does it to me now. But it's like it's lost its steam because I don't have like a lot of energy when I'm not like, oh, I'm in your. He's, I'm, it's like I'm in your life. I'm in your life now. So it is a high energy. Yeah. yeah. Do Howard and Tracy have a mutual respect for one another? Yeah, I think Tracy Tr- Tracy definitely likes Howard. Howard loves having him on. I would say so. I I was sort of interested when Howard was doing the whole. I don't like the way Letterman treats you. And Tracy also wasn't buying into that. He's like, no, that's our thing. That's how we work. And Howard was telling Tracy, that, yeah, I, I don't go for that shit. But Tracy's like, no, I'm fine. I like that. Yeah, Tracy said it's like Godzilla battling King Kong with the two of them going at each other. But, yeah, I thought that Tracy felt Howard was being a little oversensitive when it came to that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if Tracy didn't like it, why would he continue to go on? I guess it's just sort of, you know, it's so hard. I, also for Howard, I don't know if Howard watches the show every night. I don't. But so if you don't watch a show like that every single night, maybe you don't get all the nuances. I guess not. Uh, Matt, you're on the wrap-up show. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, Matt. First time caller. Uh, Gary, going to get the book. Um, love the show, but i, I got to ask y'all's opinion on this, and I hope you can be honest with me. I like when comedians come on the show, um, different kinds, variations, colors, it doesn't matter. But, I mean, it's Tracy Morgan. He's. I don't, I don't understand what John or Howard's so intrigued. He's booked all the time. And what's so funny about him? I mean, he acts to me like he's in, I got a fourth grade mentality. He comes on there with, I, I don't even know how to act like him, but I, I don't know. What, is he appealing at all? Or is he, or, or is it me? It, it's, uh, it's you, but there's nothing wrong with that. Meaning, we, he appeals to us and he appeals to a large part of the audience. You don't find him funny and that's okay because you can't like everything that goes on, but, I find him very appealing, and I think Howard does too. Yeah, me too. I I, I find him hilarious. Like he makes me laugh. A part of it's his unique, uh, you know, to me, his unique kind of voice, his accent, his is just his rhythm, his words. But it also the thoughts he comes up with. He's he's really funny. And I've seen him live doing stand up, and I found him to be a great, entertaining stand up. I, I when I heard when I hear he's gonna be on the show, like I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, he does a yeah. he does a thing in his, that I like for his character where. He sort of dumbs it down, dumbs it down, dumbs it down, and then he'll throw in a joke that's really smart. Yes. And then and then the next joke will be about, you know, blowing a load on a woman and then it's like he's all over the place. I think he's a smart guy, but I find all that very funny. Do you who's like a stand up like just an example of like one of your favorite stand ups or one of your favorite funny guests? Um nice man, but it's been a long time since I've heard him on there. Right. Um Colin Quinn, you know any of those guys? I just don't get Tracy Morgan. I never have. Um, I, I didn't even. I turned him off today and went to another channel. But I've listened to him in the past. You know when he's on there, and it's just I can't get past him. I don't know. It's just hey, that's okay. It, man. it seems like such ignorant, uh, ignorant humor to me. It's like no thought process to it. It's not like I well, it's not a hickory dickory talent. docks for sure. <laughs> it's just you well, know what you can't. Look, well, I'm not looking for that. I mean, thanks, man himself without the hickory dicker i don't need that to, to he, he's just so authentic himself but See, I, just, it just seems like there's no thought process with tracy morgan it's just i don't know the, i mean it's just like his i got it matt the, i got it i got it you do, i got it i got, I got it, it. But, but uh but but like i said matt i know you like the show and I, you're not expected to love everyone but it's all good not your right on. Hey, well, look i'm off tomorrow and i'm gonna be watching you on the show tonight on uh kimball so. thanks matt appreciate it congrats bud thanks Take, all right, thank you, Matt. All right, Tracy, not Matt's cup of tea. Tahu, hey. you're on the wrap-up show. Thanks, John. How you doing, Gary? Good. Hey, uh, would Tracy be a roaster if there was going to be a Howard Stern roast? Okay, he... as a producer, this is what I would say. In order to do a Howard Stern roast, it's got to be a certain level of comedian, and Tracy fits the bill for me. But I don't know if he does roast. I don't know. I mean, I think he'd be funny as hell just being there. Yeah. And whatever he fucking says, I'm going to laugh. He just... He's very funny, but I don't know that he does a roast type style. Yeah, let's think of like three comedians that have to be on that roast. Chris Rock, Jerry Seinfeld. Um, I, I wonder if Letterman doesn't roast, but he fits the bill. But like Chris Rock and Jerry Seinfeld are two people that you say that's who should be roasting Howard. 
Well, how about like like Lam- uh, Lisa Lampanelli, the people that like roasted you, Gary, some of those guys. Some of those people are good. I mean, Lisa's you know? good. As, Lisa's good because she's a roast master. But I right. I don't know that she's. You, you, the people that are actually roasting should be, you know, as good as the person being roasted. That friend of that uh, Greek actor that Howard, Howard's friends with. Who? Uh, Stamos. Oh, oh, John Stamos. Bob Saget. No, 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 no. The older guy. He used to be in Sea Pro Rickles. Sharky. Yeah. Rickles. Rickles. Oh, Rickles. Rickles would be, right, Rickles. Gilbert. Gilbert would be good. Oh, Got well, it. You, you can never know what he's going to say. Milk crate. There's a long leg Mac Daddy. Can I put my finger in your ass? Oh, yeah, dropping loads. Oh, my. Yeah, baby. Rock me. Hey, now. Hey, now, hey, now, hey, now. I went over to the uh, basketball game Thursday night. Knicks versus the Miami Heat. It was a big so game. So that was uh, LeBron. LeBron James. And company. Yeah, and the Knicks won. It was a really exciting game. Cool. Yeah, it was very cool. I saw that you were sitting next to Tracy Morgan. Was that true? Yeah. You know, you know where you rate as a celebrity where you sit? I think I'm the most important celebrity because literally when I watched all the news reports, all the sports guys were going in. Even Howard Stern showed up at the game. And there were a lot of celebrities there because everyone wanted to watch LeBron James right. play. But I get to sit, like, right in the front row there, like, right in the middle of the court. Right like, at uh, the... Yeah. What is that? Center court. Yeah, so I must be pretty important. You don't know? No. Why the fuck do I You're know? not sure? No. How would I know? Unless I go to the basketball <laughs> game. I don't know. You don't know where you're at. Get, get your status. Go to the basketball game. So how is Tracy? Because he like, had a kidney transplant. Yeah, well, like, Carrie Underwood was upset because she wasn't even in the front row. But you know what? She's a kid from American Idol. You sit in the back. But she's huge in the country world. Uh, country. This ain't country, country. This is New York City. <laughs> you sit third row in. This is the Knicks, baby. Yeah. Did you hear that Carrie Underwood was upset? Yeah, but... Who told you? Uh, you know, I'll try to find out. A friend of mine uh, told me he read that, that he she was upset that she wasn't in front, but you were... But oh, I don't that know she details. compared herself to Howard? That's what I heard back. I, I mean, to when your career specific. spans 30 wonderful years. Nobody yeah. will want to see her in the front row. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she said she was upset that I was in the front row and she wasn't? You know, I just... Oh, she, she thinks she's more important than I am. I don't... That's what my the friend... Fuck herself. Yeah. yeah, fuck her. Fuck you, honey. Mm. You bitch. She was kind of cunty to me backstage at some fucking show. Oh, really? I didn't know you had ever run into her. I think I did. Maybe at Letterman with the last time, or was she ever on Letterman with me, Carrie Underwood? It seems familiar. Or maybe it was Gwen Stefani. No, it was, it was uh, Howard. Who? It was who? Uh, Carrie Underwood. It was Carrie Underwood. Yeah, yeah she was cunty. Mm. Like she was better than me or something. Ooh, cunty. Right. Good. I'm glad you had to sit in the third row. Well, you know what? That's part of the problem with that show, American Idol. It makes Carrie Underwood think she's. Something else, right. you know. You're a girl who wouldn't have made it without a TV show. Right. Yeah, Robin, Pumping tell her. You, up. you tell her. You know <laughs> Justin Bieber, honey. I like when you uh, get mad. <laughs> you don't insult you to me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, all of a sudden she's comparing herself to me. You know. Carrie Underwood, who else was there that I saw? Yeah, he's flat next to Tracy Morgan. Yeah, she, he just had a kidney transplant. He looked pretty good. How's he doing? I saw the he, picture, and I was like, oh, he looks good. Yeah, well, he lost a bunch of weight, because I guess with his kidneys, who knew he had all these kidney problems, but... Well, one of the biggest side effects of diabetes is to destroy other organs, and kidney, one of the, one of the top ones. And yeah. he said he didn't take his diabetes seriously for years until he started to have um, other problems from it. He's like the, the funniest guy to sit next to at a game. He just makes jokes the whole time. He was there with a really hot chick, too. Is that the girl he was talking about in here? Uh, some Asian chick. I don't know. Mm, I maybe, don't think the woman we were talking about was Asian. Or maybe she wasn't Asian. I th- and maybe she was mulatto. I don't know what she was. She was light-skinned. Could you find her? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't want to stare. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's that same dynamic. And then we were there with uh, Magic Johnson. Magic was sitting on the side? Magic was sitting there. We uh, we were talking for a while. He looks good. Uh-huh. He's doing really well, Magic Johnson, from what I can tell. Well, Magic is the problem with the whole AIDS thing. People think there's a cure. Yeah, he's the problem. <laughs> he looks really good. Yeah, people think there's a cure out there if, if Magic has it. But uh, it's funny. The uh, Most of the players, <clears throat> when they see Magic Johnson's there, 
they get totally distracted. Like they're so in love with him. They bow to him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I could tell even LeBron every minute was. Lo he came over. He talked to Magic during the game. You know. Yeah. Like he's. He, he wants to make sure Magic thinks he's doing a good job and that he yeah. approves of his performance. <laughs> but Tracy makes jokes the whole time. And then I was trying to find out who gave him the kidney. But I think the girl Tracy got the kidney from that woman that he used to live with and. What his wife? Yeah, I, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't follow the whole story, but he talks the whole time, and he's funny. Well, the reason he gained so much weight is the drugs you're on prior to getting your kidney transplant make you very bloated and round. All I know, he's there with a super hot chick. He doesn't talk to her the whole time, and you know what? He doesn't go for. Like, um, he wanted food to eat. He wanted popcorn and hot dogs. Uh-huh. Oh, God, he's just eating anything now that he has yeah. a new kidney. Yeah. <laughs> so he wanted popcorn and hot dogs, and she whips out the credit card, and she pays for it. Like, he didn't even pay for anything. You know it's his credit card. Nuh-uh. I'm telling you. It was her credit card. Howard. I watch everything like a hawk. Stop, stop battling me on this. He gave her that okay. credit card. All right. He doesn't know her that long to give her a credit card. I'm telling Ask you, Charlie Sheen, how it's done. This chick was paying for herself <laughs> and him. Uh, and right. He's the well. Meanwhile, he was with this really good-looking chick. I thought she was Asian. Beth said she was a light-skinned black woman. I don't know what she is, but she was hot. And he makes jokes the whole time. But and to then, you, not to her. To me and Beth. <laughs> he ain't wasting his time with her. He's already got her. He's he's working us. He's wooing you. And there we are. There's a picture. That's the chick. Or she was really good looking. See, she's wearing the hand warmers, the whole thing. Same as me. Yeah, but well, she doesn't look Asian. She's something. I'm just not sure what. See Piers Morgan, three rows behind. <laughs> Where's that? I can't see him. See, it's Piers. See the guy with the purple? His head turned? The head turned. That's okay. Piers Morgan. All right. Yeah, Tracy looks good. He's, his face is, you know, come down. Yeah, he looks real good. He's yeah. great. He's so fucking funny, man. Well, how have they got a picture of you and Tracy without Beth being in the middle? She's right there. No, but I saw one in the paper. She's blocked. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was there. Well, you like... can look carefully. You'll see her blonde hair. It was okay. weird angle. And there's me and Tracy holding hands at the game. Look at you two. Yeah, we're having a bro moment. I forget why we were holding each other's hands. Yeah. Oh, I know why. Why do you have that girl between the two of you? Is that like a beard? Oh, that's you, Beth. Yeah. You two are together? You know why we're holding hands? <laughs> I go, Tracy, how you feeling? And you started to tell me. And I said, you know, Tracy, I'm so glad you're doing better. And I'm glad for your success. And then he started talking to me about, you know, he would like to do another movie. He's got, you know, he's got movies coming out. But And I, and I, I was telling him that. Don't worry, man. You're going to be doing good now with the kidney and this thing. We had a moment. Uh huh. So then he, we grabbed each other's hands, and then <laughs> I don't even realize you're taking pictures. How the hell do I know? Yeah, you got, you're holding this man's hands, looking into his eyes. Pictures the dream. are being snapped. That's the dream. Martin Luther King had that dream that one day a white man and a black man could hold hands together at the Nick game and not be ridiculed. You got to see this picture. It's funny. Yeah. See, now that's the kind of picture you should have hanging in your house. <laughs> I love that picture. That is a great picture. No, I don't have that picture. How do I get that picture? I want it. <laughs> Can somebody get me that picture? Yeah, it would be nice if Tracy gave me a hand job during the Nick game. And you should put on the picture, the dream. The dream, there's the dream. <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, it was a strange dynamic. It was like uh, it was me and, you know, of course, me and Beth, Tracy and his beautiful girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Never got a name. I guess she's a girlfriend. I'm assuming. You never got a name. Were you introduced? No. Until we said, so Beth goes, who is this woman you're with? You know, oh, you got to do that with Tracy. Yeah. But Tracy makes jokes the whole time. And then sometimes he'll ask me serious basketball questions. Tracy evidently really knows basketball. Yes, he's a big fan. So he is sitting there, and he asked me a basketball question, and I was embarrassed because I don't even know anything about basketball. You know, he, he was saying, this is good for us because blah, 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 blah. What do you think? <laughs> By us, he means the next. And I, and I went, Tracy, what do I know? Why do I? Why do, that's I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy, you know what I mean? <laughs> Who's on the Knicks? Stottlemyre? Yeah. Who else? I don't even know. So, um, but LeBron James is some kind of presence to watch. He really is something. I've seen him play before. It's, yeah. Uh, it's really interesting. Yeah, because yeah. he has a command of the court that's amazing. It seems effortless to him. Yeah, it's pretty exciting to watch him play. So it was a really good game. And then... Um, and it almost looks like he could do anything he wants out there. Beth never asked me to do this before, but all of a sudden, 
it was like two minutes left in the game and everyone was standing and she goes, quick, take a picture of me and Magic. So she goes over, she walks over to Magic and says, can I take a picture with you? All of a sudden, the two of them are posing. Uh huh. And I go, oh, fuck, I got this new Android camera on the, my, my cell phone. I don't know how to work it. Uh oh. -uh. I don't know how to work this thing. So what happened? I, somehow, miraculously, I whipped it out and got the picture. <laughs> Thank God, because... You don't want to be standing there and go, wait a minute, Magic. Let me figure out how to work my camera. She wanted to show her brothers because her, her brother Dave idolized Magic Johnson. Like, that's his hero. If you played basketball, I think, you know, one of the people you idolize is Magic. Yeah. Somehow, apparently, he really knew how to play the game. Yeah. I never got to see him play. But anyway, so Magic was there. And then there's that whole weird dynamic where Spike Lee walks in. And he's dressed like one of the Knicks, you know, he's got that whole uniform on that he wears. And he's up and down, and he really makes the game about himself. He's, he's really, like the, the sixth man on the court. Yeah, he's like an ambassador for the Knicks or something, but like, there's this whole weird thing where he sees Tracy. Now, I'm sta sitting right next to Tracy. Sees Tracy, gives him a hug. Magic, right, he gives yeah. a hug, you know. He's all around you hugging people. And I've hugged Tracy, and I've hugged Magic, but now Spike can't say anything because I didn't like his films, some right. of his films. Some of his films I did praise, but... He can't, you know, he's, he's all weirded out by me. And uh, that's always a comfortable dynamic. But he at this can't point, figure you out. Yeah, it's like, who gives a fuck? I like that he doesn't talk to me. <laughs> Quite frankly, I, you know what? He looks you strange. Say, hey, I like do the right thing. Seems like a strange guy wearing that uniform every time. Well, he's not five. You know, it's yeah. one thing for a five-year-old to dress up. Yeah, he looks like one of those little kids. <laughs> it's weird, but, you know, it's fine. So there's that whole dynamic. I saw Trump sitting there, but he was across the court. Okay. And, it, and he was, like, on the other side. They said Woody Allen was there. I didn't notice him. I'm Woody bad at has that. his own seats, and he doesn't sit on the floor usually. Yeah, I know where he sits. I didn't see him, but uh -huh. I'm bad at, like, finding people. Because, like, David Duchovny, I, I shook his hand. I saw him, but, like, Beth spotted him in the crowd, and I go, where? And I go, I, I forget it. You can't it. see anybody. I don't see anybody. Milk crate. There's a long leg Mac Daddy. Can I put my finger in your ass? Oh, yeah, dropping loads. Oh, my. I uh, saw over the weekend, too, that Tracy Morgan got into a bunch of trouble for his anti-gay rant. Homophobic I jokes, know. or sort of not jokes. Yeah, again, I jokes can... Jokes are funny. I can explain the behavior. These guys get on stage, and they think anything goes, and they don't think it through, but... The and Tracy is sort of notorious for saying he doesn't write down his act. Yeah, there is no act. I yeah. think he just gets up there and spews. Yeah. And the truth came out how he felt about, you know, the gay situation. And now he's apologizing. But uh, this is very prevalent with people. This is how people really do feel. Uh, they really hate gay people. And I was listening to somebody else say they think Tracy has a problem. Meaning? Meaning, you know, his, you know, he's had so many, you know, like he's played gay characters in movies and mm -hmm. he can do that very effeminate thing really easily. And then he gets up and he says all these really anti-gay things. This could be the behavior of somebody who questions his own sexuality. Oh, I don't know about that. Maybe, but uh, I suggest rehab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with Anthony Everybody Weider. will be in rehab. Yeah, I mean, you know. Tracy, he's just flat out, in my opinion, wrong. And uh, yeah, he said he'd stab himself if his kid came home and had a gay accent. I thought something. he said he'd stab the kid if you. No, he said he'd stab himself. Oh, okay, that's that's fine. okay. That's all right. That I don't have a problem with. <laughs> he'd stab himself. I thought he was going to stab uh, uh, stab the kid. Was the uh, no? He said he was going to stab the kid, not himself. Really? Yeah. I thought it was himself. And he used the N word. He said, "I'd stab the N word." Yeah, but uh, that's, uh, he did apologize, but that's crazy, you know. I, I've had him in here many times. I thought we talked about gay stuff. I thought he was pretty liberal on that. I don't know what happened there. He had some sort of disconnect, but it's how he feels. Most people do feel this way. That's why there's not gay marriage. That's why people are hung up. I mean, let's not say most people. Yeah, most, most people. Most old people. No, I don't no. think younger people are having this, you know, you break it down demographically and younger people are much more liberal. I wonder about that. I, I, I maybe in New York. Lying? Yeah, I think they're lying. I think they they're all disgusted by gay activity and 
They're disgusted by gay people, and I don't get it at all. I just don't get it. I don't care what you do with another person as long as it's legal. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you're not killing but, somebody. You know, you know, half the time they also have laws on the books to keep you from doing what gay people do. That's true. So, I don't know. But Tracy was out of line with those comments. And he so he has apologized. I don't know what good that does. Well, Anthony Weiner apologized. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't mean much. Yeah. He should not have the pressures of making laws as well. well. Think about the Daily News. The people who write in are very forgiving. Like they go, Tracy Morgan has nothing to apologize for. His recent anti-gay rant was obviously not intended to vilify people with homosexual tendencies. The comedian's monologue was presented within the context of comedy. Wait a minute. What? Uh, the, the guy says uh, he's on it stage. It wasn't meant to vilify? No. It's, oh. it's a joke. <laughs> We got to see Tracy, find out what's going on with him. Oh, he went to visit Glad. Did he? Yeah. Mm. He's doing everything. I don't know how you visit Glad. Yeah, where do you go to visit Glad? <laughs> Let's go, we, we should visit them, too. I'd like to say hello. <laughs> Tracy Morgan meets with Glad. Wow. How do you do that exactly? Like, they have a meeting, and everyone goes, and they meet with Tracy? What did he say? In a statement, Morgan said that he lost his father to AIDS in 1987. My dad wasn't gay, but I also learned about homophobia then because of how people treated people who were sick with that. Parents should support and love their kids no matter what. Right. Oh, boy. So Someone got a hold of him. He met with Glad. Uh, yeah, I want to hear this whole story. Tracy, come on in, man. <laughs> I want to hear what's going on. I want to know, like... How many public relations people are brought in to work you? Is, this, is it a team? To make you aware of how serious that is. Yeah, and it's got to be NBC's people. Probably Tracy doesn't even have his own publicist. He probably doesn't even care. He's probably got an NBC team because he's on that show 30, 30 Rock. 30 Rock. Yeah. They got this whole thing mapped out like a war room. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking yeah. Oval Office, you know, when you see the Joint <laughs> yeah, Chiefs yeah. of Staff and the president sitting there. Tracy's been on a couch. <laughs> Tracy, this is very serious. I'm a gay person, and I'm personally offended. <laughs> what do you mean? I can't do Tracy, but, you know, it must be. Tracy, this is so bad, you're going to have to marry a man. <laughs> what? That's right. You're going to have to come out of the closet. I ain't in the closet. <laughs> well, yes, you are. <laughs> That's too bad. I can't imagine what the hell goes on in that room. You know that's the best. Imagine yeah. being the publicist called in on that one. You smoke oh, coming no. out of your head. <laughs> your job is to save Tracy Morgan. What do you got, Gary? Well, the, the meeting must have gone well because uh, he's working with Glad right now. Yeah. Oh, he's working with Yeah, him. it says Tracy Morgan working with Glad following his tirade. So I guess see. He... <laughs> Is that how you get a job with Glad? <laughs> uh, Tracy Morgan on the heels of his anti-gay tirade and subsequent apology. Tracy Morgan has told Glad President Jared Barrios that he will team up with the group to meet with LGBT youth and participate in an anti-bullying public service announcement. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Yeah, that's right. How am I supposed to take him seriously when he's doing that? Because you know that's not what he thinks. The thing he said was that they should get over this whole bullying thing. No, but I know, but you know that's not what he thinks. But that's what I'm saying. His whole routine was about you're too sensitive. Anybody <laughs> buy the fact that sometimes you say stuff just to be funny and because you're on stage and maybe things aren't going so well and that like you kind of force things just to get a reaction? Yes, a little Michael bit. Richards. <laughs> yeah, like a Michael Richards. Like, like is it possible Michael Richards? But, but I mean, but he did have the N-word in him. And I don't know, man. It's confusing. It's like, it's, so, so like when somebody gets so drunk that they don't know where they are and they start to speak, like Mel Gibson, right? right? So he gets pulled over and he starts yelling sugar tits and Jews and all that stuff. Is is that in his head? Yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he can't come out of anywhere else. <laughs> Argument over. <laughs> uh, during a call with Barrios and Glad Staff Monday, Morgan committed to meet with LGBT youth from New York's Alley Forney Center. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who have been hurt or left homeless by parental rejection. Aww. He's now meeting also with family members who have lost children to anti-gay oh, violence. Oh, he's going through the whole sensitivity thing. Yeah, holy shit. They're going to show him everything. Yeah. 
He's also agreed to take a dick in his ass. No. <laughs> Just to understand what it means to be, you know. That's right. right. This is love. Poor, poor Tracy's publicist, I'm thinking. Boy, that, that must have been some meeting. It's probably in the beginning. He's like, things aren't that bad, are they? Like, listen, sit down, Junior. <laughs> you're not going to have to go gay, but almost. Yes, yeah, you're almost going to have to become homosexual <laughs> or transgender. <laughs> Among them will be Elkie Kennedy, the founder of Sean's Last Wish, whose son Sean was killed uh, at age 20 by anti-gay uh, violence in 2007. Uh, oh, boy, that's going to be some meeting. Ooh. Oh, if they would tape that as an HBO oh, special, oh, please, dear this God. This should be. Oh, my God. This Tracy, should be a reality show. Tracy Morgan does the mea culpa <laughs> and meets with not only Glad, but everyone who has been a victim of gay violence. Absolutely. Or anti-gay violence. And gay bullying. Yeah. Wow. He might end up being a very big uh, gay advocate. I think he's going to be the biggest. Tracy's also agreed to go on David Letterman in a dress. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says here. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> Holy mackerel. Tracy says, I know how bad bullying can hurt. I was bullied when I was a kid, he says. I'm sorry for what I said. I didn't mean it. I never want to use my comedy to hurt anyone. And then he went into the whole thing about his dad having AIDS and he right. saw discrimination and parents should love and support their kids no matter what. He's got it down. And then by, I guess by meeting with gay and transgender youth who have been shunned by their families, Tracy will get a good fucking come up. And, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. And put, meeting the poor woman whose son was beaten to death? That's good. Oof. Yeah. I don't want to be on that detail. Yeah. What was it like in your household when it came up to like gay stuff? Did your parents were they tolerant or were they? Um, were, were there's a lot of. Uh... There was a, It was an interesting thing because you know there were gay people around. We were never told what the deal was with these people. You know, like you knew there was something different. Right. <laughs> but nothing was ever said about it. And nobody ever did anything bad to them. You know, they were they were friends and neighbors and, you know, we spoke to them and, you know, had them over to cookouts and, and the like. And so it was always like a sort of a fairly acceptance. accepting. Yeah. Yeah. See, I was lucky that way, too. You see, I think uh, a lot of people aren't raised that way. My family, for some reason, I don't know what the reason was, it was very not only tolerant of gays, but. You know, used to set up my gay cousin on dates with other guys. Mm -hmm. and my father, well, my parents didn't go that far. Yeah, I mean, my mother, my, my mother was running the gay dating game, <laughs> you know, back in the '60s. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't know, but anything gay came up, my parents would sit me down and say, uh, "Gee, what, what is all this carrying on? Who cares if someone's gay? It's it's fine. It doesn't make well, a difference." Well, nobody ever had a conversation, yeah. but you just you you just saw that people were different, but they were accepted. But when you're raised in a family that is the opposite of like my family where they just sit there and go oh these fucking gays they're such faggots they're gonna fucking you know they're, they're against god and blah 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 and you get brainwashed yeah, what they're doing is a sin and yeah. they're horrible right you yeah. know so it's just weird I, I think a lot of it has to do with what you're exposed to unless you're incredibly bright and can think for yourself which most people can't well even if you can you don't start thinking for yourself as a child you know it yeah. might come later yeah you might have some epiphany uh, Barry, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Howard. Hey. Yesterday on Michelangelo Signorelli show on OutQ, people were calling up and saying that Tracy Morgan came onto them in men's rooms, specifically this bar cafeteria in Manhattan. And I'm not sure if Michelangelo said it also happened to him, but um, he's, he's claiming high. that Tracy came onto them to they, guys. He, they said oh. they had these oh, people saying, "Yeah, there was a porn <laughs> star. There was a porn star who called up and said." They said, well, what's his type? He said, well, I'm slutty, so I guess that's his type. Wow. But, um, yeah. so, and Michelangelo is very high profile. This, this should get out. And, I don't know. I know Tracy. I mean, you don't know these people, Howard. You you keep no. thinking you know them because they sit here and you laugh at yep. their Yeah, but I, I sat with him at the Nick game, and he had his son with him. Oh, and, he was with, and then two I times he was with a chick. So... I hear you talking. I don't buy good, it. I hear you talking about a good friend of yours who's bisexual, and you have no idea. I have a good friend who's bisexual. 
Yep. You mean Fred? Very good, very good looking guy. <laughs> Fred swings both ways. Very good looking guy. Ooh, that narrows it down. <laughs> I have a good looking friend who's, who's bisexual. Bi? You don't know it. You mean Ralph? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to cause trouble. You're saying I have a bi. I don't know what you're saying. He's not. I'm not saying you're involved with him, but this guy is known to be bisexual, and you think he's just completely straight. Pounds, you know. A friend of mine. I mean, a guest. I, a guest, a friend. Hmm. Hmm. Jimmy Kimmel? I have to, I have to, no, I have to go, Howard. But, uh, oh, where are you go. going? Gay guys love to do that. They love to drop a little bomb and go, you know who's gay. Everyone's gay. Absolutely. This guy did the best, though. He's like, you don't know one of your friends is bi. No, he's keeping it a secret. <laughs> I know it's not Stamos, Barry. That's who he's alluding. Hello? Oh, Did you go? He hung up on us. Oh, no. no. Stamos is all into women. He says you think he's a poon now. You think he mm. I know who it is. Who? Tim Sabian. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be, right? Who else could it be? Um, I, I hate and now you're going to look at every one of your friends and say, mm -hmm. hi. <laughs> could it be JD? I ain't no fucking pussy. Uh huh? I'm club fucking footed, you ass wipe. Oh, yeah, dropping loads. Oh, my. Boy, when, when Sal was saying he went up to Harlem, every black dude they found, when he asked them about Tracy Morgan, this is what's cool about being black. Black guys stick up for the black guys. They were like, Tracy Morgan is being treated unfairly. <laughs> Do they even know what Tracy Morgan said? Not really. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, here, I'll show you. Do you think Tracy Morgan is being treated unfairly by the K community for his homophobic jokes? Uh, yes, I actually think he is being treated unfairly. A joke is a joke. Like, we can't joke anymore. Everything is so sensitive to the fact that people are protesting. It's like, you got, it's, everything's touchy-feely nowadays. Can you relate to what Tracy is saying when he bashed the gays? Can you get what he's saying? Um, I mean, I can, but that's my own personal view. I, I definitely believe that, that you, um, you're not born gay. It's definitely a choice. I mean, you, you choose to be who you want with who you want to be with so um i definitely understand <laughs> what you're saying i think they do that way out of proportion see that's why it's going to be a miracle if new york state does get gay marriage because most people are walking around with these kind of beliefs and that's what you know it's funny i was listening to some politician and he goes you know this is a really hard dilemma for me and i go yeah, uh, you know what the dilemma is hmm do i do the right thing or do i do it is going to get me reelected. See, the, the reason it's a dilemma is because the guy knows what the right thing is to do. It's to vote for gay marriage. You know, yeah. but this guy's like, oh, my God, this is a terrible dilemma, terrible dilemma. No, it's not. Should I take care of me or should I take care of right. the community? Exactly. Should I get rid of all the fucking hate around here and send a message? Or should I do something really safe and vote against it and therefore my constituents won't be angry? I mean, uh, these attitudes are unbelievable. Would you rather your child be Jewish or gay? Oh, oh, shit. I'm going to have to say gay. <laughs> Who offends you more, Howard Stern or Tracy Morgan? I definitely say Howard Stern, you know. Thank he's you. out of control. <laughs> and who do you find to be more homophobic, Tracy Morgan or Howard Stern? I'll probably have to say Howard Stern. See, I'm telling you. None of his answers make any sense at all. <laughs> right. <laughs> Here's another guy. He, too, he he defended Tracy, too. How would you react to if your child said he was gay? If, if, my, child, if my son was gay, I'd not accept it. And I, I can't reject it. I'd be mad at first, you know what I mean? Because man and woman is in the Bible. Adam and, Adam and Eve. They're not Adam and Steve. You know what I mean? Would you rather your child be Jewish or gay? The Jewish, because he get money. He, he said his money. That's what's cool about being Jewish. They immediately hand you money. <laughs> Team is money. I, I, I like Jews. Shalom. Who offends you more, Howard Stern or Tracy Morgan? Howard Stern, man. He, he rough. See, that's what I like about Harlem. At least we automatically get offended if you're black. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. How is Tracy? You know, he apologized to everyone, right? He's like glad. You know, he's visiting, you know, <laughs> gay kids who've been, you know, bullied. We got to get him in here. <laughs> we got to find out what's going on. <laughs> but that's some serious shit. He ain't, he's not going to joke about that. Oh, no. He's a gay spokesperson now. I know. Milk.
crate. It's a long leg Mac Daddy! Oh yeah, dropping loads. Oh my. <laughs> Come on. Just answer your American Express contact. Hello, may I help you? Hey. Hey. I like mature women. I like stretch marks. I like cellulite. I love all of that. You like them hit titties hanging down to my navel, baby? I love me some welfare pussy. Well, you got the welfare pussy of Granny right now. What? Them hairy pussies. Oh, I'm just a black man. Oh, well, I like them big old black dicks. I'm from the ghetto. Well, you are from the ghetto. I'm huge. Oh, I know you are. Let me worship that big old black cock. You know when the pussy good. <laughs> uh, when you put your dick in and make that fart sound. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh my God, I love the way y'all smell down there and everything. Oh, yeah, you like that tuna smell, don't you? Yeah. Get that old tuna pussy right there in your mouth. <laughs> what? You sniff it up, shove that cock in my mouth, and sh come on, give me that big old black dick. I like when a woman throw up on my dick. You want me to gag and throw up on that cock? I love when a woman gag. I'll tell you what, you just shove that shit in my mouth, I'll take every wow. fucking inch of it sexy woman. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is your dick. Oh, yeah. That's my big nigger dick. <laughs> this is your dingling, goddammit. Oh. Keep that throw up off that big old black dick. Blackle, uh. blackle, blackle. I wouldn't suck that nigger cum. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't have it all the way down my throat. Give me that nigger cum. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming all over my face with that big old black cock, and you better call me again soon. <laughs> <laughs> What a lovely lady. Uh, what this? Cash app, dollar sign, milk, crate, marauder. Uh huh? Venmo, at, milk, crate, marauder. <laughs> you stupid bastard. I'm a death to cocksucker!